he was found out in the open, lying on the ground in an urban area. It's fairly common, unfortunately, with these guys. He was the smallest bush baby I've ever seen. He only weighed nine grams when he came in. I always think of the tiny bush babies as little baby Yodas, because they have enormous eyes and ears and this big round face. As babies, they almost bald, so they, they look quite alien-like. But he was a special case because he was so tiny and we all kind of just fell in love with him when we first saw him. Initially, I was quite concerned because he was so small. He wasn't doing much. <laughs> he slept most of the time. After about a week or two, he started growing really nicely. He almost doubled in weight and he was drinking really well and looking strong and moving around. So by that point, I felt a lot more optimistic that he was going to make it. He was alone for quite a while, which is unfortunate for them because they are fairly social and it's really good for them to have siblings to grow up with. Around two to three weeks old, he started getting more adventurous and exploring a bit more and being willing to sniff and hop around a bit. Because they're primates, they have hands that look very similar to ours, but they've got very powerful hind legs. They can jump very far distances, especially for their small size. Once they reach a certain age, you can kind of see the light bulb go off and they realize that this is something they can do. The second bush baby came, there was a bit of a risk initially of introducing them and that pebble might be a bit too boisterous, but it was actually the other way around. He was a bit terrified of the new one. But within a couple of days, they were snuggling together. I'd already had Pebble for about three months when he went to his soft release. He needed time to adjust and learn skills like hunting insects before they can actually be fully released. So we put them up in a big enclosure outside in the bush. He's gonna stay there over winter until the first rains come. He is now in a group of five and they're all getting on very well. They all sleep together in a tiny little house during the day, even though they have lots of sleeping options. <laughs> Once they go off in spring, they should form a little family group and they should start breeding 